I'm here with Tim Fowler at his dojo, Ocean View Martial Arts. Tim is a military veteran who served in the army for 20 years. He's a black belt in jujitsu, a green belt in judo, a former MMA fighter, and has been practicing martial arts for over 15 years. We're going to do a best of three rounds, but there's a catch. Tim is only allowed to use one arm. All right, that's gonna be Tim after our match. Round one, fight. Okay, so right away this man starts walking forward with the confidence of a gorilla ready to snap me like a banana. I was not expecting that. Quickly drops me on my back like a wife on her honeymoon, but I do have more limbs than him, so I'm able to get back up fairly easily. And from this point, I start to gain a dominant position and assert myself as the alpha male. He has his legs around me, so I'm trying to control his one arm and use my other arm to get his legs from around me, but his arm is stronger than my one arm, and his legs are really strong too. And in an attempt to get out from between his legs, he turns into Mega Mind and just takes my arm right here with a 1 billion IQ play. And I'm trying to take control of my arm back and then I see a chance to lock his leg until I see his heel vulnerable and I try and take that. But he just completely flips it around, takes advantage, and so now he is the alpha male and completely embarrasses me, flipping me over like a Krabby Patty on the grill and eventually lose control of my arm and he forces me to tap. Uncle. <laughs> it didn't even hurt, I just knew I was gonna bleed. His legs are too strong. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Right, round two, and this is the most embarrassing round in my opinion. Um, right away, he's kind of like trying to maintain control of my right arm, my dominant arm, and he grabs my sleeve there. I can't use it. I try and grab his collar with my left arm to, you know, assert some type of control. Uh, it doesn't really work. He drops down to the ground. He's holding on to me still, takes me down there with him, and he, he basically controls my dominant arm for a majority of this round. So right here, I'm trying to take his heel and turn him into Achilles, except I'm the arrow, but obviously I failed because I'm just a big disappointment, and he basically just starts carrying me around with his legs until I eventually mess up, and he grabs my neck from behind. So the lesson learned here is never have your butt facing another grown man. Next, I try and grab his arm and get up with my other arm, but he is just an absolute menace and takes my arm with his legs, and then it's not too long before it's over after this. I'm able to stall for a little bit, but eventually he applies enough pressure and then his body weight, and then I have to fold like a piece of paper. <laughs> Okay, so coming into the final round here, I'm telling myself, all right, I cannot get 3 0 I cannot lose, but right away, he gets on his butt, and he is scooting around on his butt, and I do not know how to react to this. I, I have no idea. He caught me off guard each round at the beginning, and, you know, just executed something unexpected, and I'm also thinking... I cannot get him into any type of armor leg locks, he just has the knowledge to be able to turn it around and get me into one, so I'm thinking the only way I can get him to tap is if I get him into a headlock, and that's why I try and do, and it was a mistake me falling onto my back here, because he puts his arm on my neck, like arm slash elbow on my neck, and it's just applying pressure and his body weight onto my neck, and gets me to tap. I ended up like that guy over there. <laughs> Not him. Is there anything you would like to say? Your 30 seconds of fame? Come train to Ocean View Martial Arts in Norfolk, Virginia. That has been the video. I'll miss you. You did great work out there. I'm proud of you. <laughs>